diabetes is the sixth leading cause of death among Filipinos. In 2016, as declared by the Philippine Center for Diabetes Education Foundation, over 6 million Filipinos are diagnosed to have diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic disease characterized by high levels of sugar in the blood because of inadequate production and action of insulin, the hormone that regulates blood sugar levels. This morning, we will discuss the basic information about this lifelong condition with our medical specialists here in Doctors on TV. Our guest this morning is an endocrinologist. She is a fellow of the Philippine College of Physicians and a fellow of the Philippine Society of Endocrinology, Diabetes and Metabolism. Let us all welcome Dr. Cheryl and Tugna. Welcome, Dr. Cheryl, to Doctors on TV. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good, morning. good morning also to the viewers of Doctors on TV. Yeah, we're happy to have you because of the topic that we're going to discuss about, which is? Diabetes, yes, Doctora. Diabetes. So it's your specialty. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yung iba, sinasabi nila, mataas na yung sugar ko. Mm -hmm. May diabetes ako, mm -hmm. or oh, kasi there are different types of diabetes. Can you tell us more about it, yeah. Dr. Oh, well, yung diabetes kasi is a disorder or condition na pangmatagalan. Ay, gusto kong i-emphasize yung word na pangmatagalan. Pag type 1 and type 2, hindi sila gumagaling, mm -hmm. hindi gumagaling yon And uh, ito ay problema sa uh, kakulangan o may depekto sa hormone na insulin which yung hormone na ito yung nakakapagpababa or nakakapagpanormalize ng uh, blood sugar ng isang tao. So, pag sinabi natin may diabetes ang isang tao, ang ibig sabihin, tumataas ang kanyang blood sugar. So, Doktor, nasabi niyo merong type 1 and type 2. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us the difference po? Okay, so, yung mga nakikita namin sa clinic, no, actually, tatlong klase ng mm -hmm. diabetes. We have the type 1 diabetes, the other one is the type 2, and the gestational diabetes. So, Type 1 diabetes, ito yung common nakikita natin sa mga bata. Mm. We can see patients as young as 3 or 4 years old, they will have this. No? Um, ang problema dito, wala na talaga silang insulin sa katawan. So, bata pa lang sila na-destroy na, na ng mga antibodies, no? yung meron sa dugo nila na umatake doon sa beta cells ng pancreas nila, na, na ang tawag namin dyan ay factory ng insulin at nasira yung kanilang uh, tagagawa ng insulin. So, panghabang buhay silang mga ngailangan ng insulin, bawal sila ng tableta sa diabetes. Okay? Number two is the type 2 diabetes. Yun yung pinakamarami. Usually, adult type, no? yung mga may, may edad na, yung mga nagkakaroon nito. But recently, because of uh, advent of obesity, yung nagkaroon ng mga obesity, no? yung mga uh, sedentary lifestyle, mga nakaupo lang, mas maagang edad nagkakaroon. Minsan, kahit um, teenager, meron na, no? na type 2 diabetes. Ito naman, meron sila pang insulin, hindi lang nagagamit ng maayos o kulang lang yung nilalabas na insulin. And pwede silang gamitan ng tableta na gamot, uh, as gamot, pwedeng tableta, pwede din ng insulin. Okay? And the third one is gestational diabetes. Ito yung mga first time na tumaas ang blood sugar ng mga mami or ng mga buntis during their second or third trimester karamihan, pagkapanganak, nagno-normalize na ulit yung blood sugar nila. And ang gamot lang namin din dito ay insulin sa gestational diabetes. So, pero pagkapanganak, usually wala na. Tapos na yung problema nila. Meron such as like pre-diabetes? Okay. Ang pre-diabetes is hindi pa talaga sila diabetic, no? Pero hindi rin normal yung sugar nila. Mm. Hindi lang umabot yung level doon sa Diabetes. So, sinasabi namin na ang tao ay may diabetes na pag ang fasting blood sugar is above 100, 126 and above. No? Ang pre-diabetes is between 100 to 125 milligrams per deciliter mm. na level ng blood sugar. They are not categorized as diabetes. Sila ay uh, kalimitang titawag na borderline. borderline. So, sila lamang ay mataas ang risk or yung chance na magda-diabetes sa future. So, so hindi modify sila, din sila. Hindi sila nangangailangan pa doktora ng gamot or intervention pagkagano um, ito. 
maaaring bigyan ng sikat na gamot na metformin, but ang pinaka magandang intervention sa kanila is weight loss. Weight loss and diet. Uh, or uh, lifestyle, we call it lifestyle change kasi papapayatin natin sila sa pamamagitan ng activity at saka aayusin yung uh, pagkain nila, no? mm -hmm. yung dieta nila. Uh -huh. Um, is hypoglycemia also type of diabetics or? Ah, no, no. Yung hypoglycemia kasi, kabaligtaran siya ng diabetes. Ang diabetes, ang mga taong may diabetes ay may hyperglycemia. Uh -huh. Okay, mataas yung blood sugar nila. Ang hypoglycemia, mababa ang blood sugar. blood sugar. So, ang mababang blood sugar, pag tinignan natin sa mga libro, sa literature, sinasabi mababa sa 70 mg per deciliter. Um, Na-associate sa diabetes ang hypoglycemia. Mm -hmm. May mga iba't iba kasing cause mm -hmm. ng hypoglycemia. But pinaka-common is bumaba lang ang blood sugar ng isang tao kasi may iniinom siyang gamot para sa diabetes. Mm -hmm. So bumababa yung sugar nila kasi minsan napadami yung na-inject nila na insulin. O kaya naggamot sila pero biglang hindi sila kumain. O kaya may sakit sila. Uh, bumababa yung requirement nila sa gamot. So ang nangyayari... Um, bumababa yung sugar nila. Kaya na-associate siya sa uh, diabetes, yung hypoglycemia. But basically, separate, no? Yung diabetes, mataas ang blood sugar. Hypoglycemia, mababa ang blood sugar. Mm -hmm. Pero uh, what is the cause of diabetes? How person will get diabetes? So, ang mga taong at risk, no? Yun ba yung, ano natin, yung mga malaki yung chance na magkakadiabetes, no? Ang mga taong ito, yung mga matataba, no? Mm. Yung mga may history ng gestational mm. diabetes o kaya yung nagkaroon ng anak na more than 8 pounds, no? Oh. Ang malaki. Tapos yung mga Kasama matataas yung din ng cholesterol. At twins? Ah, ibig sabihin ng malaki yung, yung individual. Malaki, individual. Oh, individual. Okay? Kung meron siyang above mm. 8 pounds, no? yung matataba, ma, matataas ang kolesterol. Number one, yung may family history. Kapag ang nanay mo at ang tatay mo ay may diabetes, mataas din yung chance na magkakaroon ka. Yung mga may TCOS no, or polycystic ovarian uh, syndrome. Okay? So, yung may hypertension and ano, mataas na kolesterol, mataas yung chance nila magkaroon ng diabetes. Also, uh, na, nakaligtaan ko yung mga tamad. <laughs> Tawag ko sa kanilang tamad, yung ayaw tumayo or what ah, sedentary activities. lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, yung mga nakaupo maghapon and um, uh, yun, walang activity. So, that's why we recommend all those who have family history and yung mga na-mention ko na mga risk for uh, diabetes, yung tumataas yung chance ng diabetes. If you are 40 years old, you have your blood uh, sugar, sugar check, check no? Yeah. Every year. Or kung mas uh, mataba ka, mas bata pa, no? Mga 30s, no? Magpa-check agad na So parang uh, sila yung sugar. dapat mag-ingat. Uh -oh. We call it screening, no? Mm. Uh, mas maganda kasi nakikita agad, no? Yung iba, in denial, ayaw magpa-check ng blood sugar kasi natatakot sila, matataas yung sugar nila. Ang importante, nakita agad, na manage agad, mm. no? To avoid complications. Which is more prone to diabetes? Men or women? Find out the answers after a few reminders. Doctors on TV will return shortly. Is diabetes different from women than it is for men? Ang risk ng heart disease bilang pinakakomon na komplikasyon ng diabetes ay mas mataas ng apat na beses sa mga babae kaysa sa mga lalaki na dalawang beses lamang. Mas malala rin ang outcome ng heart attack sa mga babae. At mas mataas ang risk ng iba pang mga komplikasyon katulad ng pagkabulag, kidney disease at depression. Meron ding pagkakaiba ang diabetes sa mga babae. Ayon sa pag-aaral, mas nagkakaroon ng diabetes ang mga babae na may lahing African American, Hispanic o Latina, American Indian o Alaska Native, at Asian o Pacific Islander kaysa sa mapuputing babae. Nakakabahala ang mga ganitong impormasyon pero may ilang mga pwedeng gawin para i-manage ang pagkakaroon ng diabetes ng mga babae. Our 
are men po uh, more prone to diabetes or women? Ah, wala siyang pinipili. Wala. Wala siyang pinipili. No, nice. Uh, equality. Uh -huh. Equality. <laughs> May so, equality sa diabetes. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so, walang parang predilection, doktora? Ah, wala. More. Wala siya. Mm -hmm. How about like uh, ages? As, mas common siya sa mga nakakaedad. Pag mas matanda, mas mataas yung chance sa mong magkaroon ng diabetes. Uh, pero how can we diagnose? Mm -hmm. So you mentioned about the screening yeah. test. Yes. Ano yes. Yung mga, and gano'ng kaaga nila dapat gawin itong mga tests na to? Okay, so I'm recommended if you are mga 40 years old and you have all the risk, no? yung na-mention ko kanina for the diabetes, you have your blood sugar check no every year no pero if you are obese yung yeah. lalaki talaga maybe you can do it at mas bata pa pwede na natin gawin no yung checking um, sa mga company ngayon uh, sa mga clinic na nai-encounter ko mas maagang edad nagpapa-check na sila eh, kasi yun yung project ng mga company nila no yung mga health ano nila project ng mga company so nak nakaka-capture uh, nakaka-capture yes. agad so the diagnosis common din nakikita sa ihe. No? May makikita mm -hmm. sila sa ihe na, but this is not accurate. We usually uh, do a test, no? uh, mm -hmm. blood test, ang aming uh, ginagamit na pang-diagnose mm -hmm. para maging masabi na ang isang tao ay may diabetes, ang fasting blood sugar niya, yung 8 hours na hindi kumain, mm -hmm. natulog ka, tapos ang patsya ka ng blood sugar, above or equal to 126 milligrams per deciliter mm -hmm. or naka, nakakain ka above 200 but you should have symptoms of diabetes. Ang symptoms ng mataas na blood sugar ay uh, uhaw na uhaw, gutumin, at saka ihisil ng ihi. Lagi kong tinatanong, ilang beses ka umihi sa gabi? Yan. Kasi mm -hmm. nabibilang nila yung gabi, naabala yeah. sila dyan. Ano? Yeah. Kung naabala sila, bangon sila ng bangon. No? Nakikita, nalalaman namin na madalas pala silang umiihi. Mm -hmm. Meron din sa kanila pumapayat. So, mm -hmm. At isa pang way is meron kaming tiyantaw na 75 grams OGTP. If you're uh, two hours after mong ininom yung juice, sa mga naging pregnant na alam nila yan, Opo. yung may iniinom mm -hmm. na juice, matamis. No? yung matamis. So, yun yung ginagamit namin pang diagnose. Two hours after nun, if their blood sugar is above uh, 200, no? we, we diagnose them with diabetes. And another one would be the HbA1c, if it's above 6.5, no? uh, we diagnose also with diabetes. So, hindi siya actually isang test lang, eh. tapos nag-positive ka dyan, inuulit namin to diagnose. Kasi magsa-start tayo ng treatment, eh. so we have to be sure na, na accurate yung ating test. Uh, what age uh, we have to start having tests? Ah, uh, yun yung na-mention ko kanina, yung mga 40 years old, no? Yun yung mga recommended. But if you are obese and you you ha, you Earlier. felt the symptoms or yung may ka history of gestational mm. diabetes, you should test agad uh, kahit younger, mm. you can do the test. Mm. And wait, this is just yearly testing lang naman. How it will be treated? Like type 1, what is the treatment? Okay, so sa type 1, insulin. Kasi they lack insulin. Yeah. That's uh, tapos na mm. siya. They lack insulin, you give them insulin. So for the type 2, uh, for the gestational diabetes, before may mga inaalaw na tablets, but for now, exclusively we advocate the use of um, of insulin. Yeah. For uh, type 2 diabetes, pwede tayo magsimula ng tableta uh, or may mga kondisyon na kahit early on, nagsa-start na kami ng insulin. Depende, we individualize kasi the treatment eh. So, kung hindi, hindi kasi siya yung parang, o oh, ano yung gamot natin dito sa taong to, ganun din sa kanya, no? Hindi, titingnan natin yung profile ng mga tao. Pag sobrang taas ng mga blood sugar nila, masama talaga yung pakiramdam mm -hmm. nila, better to, to start them on with um, insulin kasi mas, ma, ma, mas gagaan mm -hmm. yung pakiramdam nila. Mm -hmm. Is it possible like someone has diabetes tapos after years it will be okay na wala siyang diabetes or it's once you have it parang it's like till end of your life you have diabetes? It's majority pag na-diagnose ka na with diabetes lifetime na yon. Uh, so gumaganda lang ang blood sugar ng mga tao pag nagagamot sila. Karaniwang nangyayari yon pag nag-normal yung sugar nila pagbalik sa iyo sasabihin doctor tinanggal ko yeah. na po yung gamot ko mm -hmm. nag-normal na. Mm -hmm. So sabi mo oh, sige i check natin ah. ulit, makikita natin na tumaas na kasi tinanggal na niya yung uh, gamot niya. So eh. they have to do the treatment parang like life? Yes. Lifetime. Uh, but in majority of the case, mm. uh, you have to do it. Uh, ang tawag ko doon, may forever. Yeah. Mm. Pero in your practice, mm. Dr. Rad, did you have any case of diabetes that they Was get resolved? Yeah, ang ang resolve, may yeah. nakita ako niyan mm. na ano, yung early on, mm. na mga pre-diabetic na matataas, and then when they when they inayos nila yung 
lifestyle, lifestyle uh-huh. nila, no? Um, nag-normal, naging less than 100 yung blood sugar nila. So hindi nila kinailangan maggamot. Hindi na hindi na nila kailangan maggamot at saka hindi sila nagtuloy. Mm-hmm. Uh, sa diabetes. It's like we are telling this over and over regarding the lifestyle, no? Like may mga reports na pag tumayat yes. sila bigla diabetic, bigla yes. pumayat, nagno-normal, may mga ganun, no? Pero hindi yon parate hindi siya common mas marami pa rin yon talagang mga ngailangan mm. talaga ng ng gamot sa diabetes when you talk about lifestyle what are you uh, like what you're more concerned about when it's lifestyle if someone want to change their lifestyle to answer your question about the lifestyle uh, of course yung mga recommended natin ngayon at least 30 minutes exercise no like and cardio. A day, 30 minutes a day na mm-hmm. exercise or and um yung I don't call it dieting eh I call it healthy meal planning. Mm, okay so okay. yung healthy yung meal planning is pag-iisipan mo yung mm, kakainin yeah. mo no and dapat walang sugar. Lahat kasi ng pagkain natin na convert ng sugar Glucose, because yeah. sugar is not bad mm-hmm. no sugar is actually our source of energy. That's the reason we move, no? Mm. That's the reason we function, because of the sugar. Um, too much sugar. Yeah, That's too much happen. sugar, no? Yun yung mali. More than what, more than what you need, no? Yung sinasabi ko na meal planning, na meal planning, it is actually, ang tawag namin dyan, individualized, no? Uh, for example, mas mababa ang requirement ng calories ng taong nagtatype lang maghapon. Oh, kasi mga doktor yung mga nasa clinic lang, no? Mm, yes. Mas mataas pa rin ang requirement ng mga tao, ng mga atlet mm. o yung mas marami silang ginagawa, mas kumikilos sila. Mas mab, mas bibigyan natin sila ng energy. calories. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Kasi kailangan mm-hmm. nila yun kumpara doon sa mga nakaupo lang. But if you're just sitting down and you keep on eating, no way for your uh, the calories na maburn mm. sila, it will be stored into fat. And then you will grow, mag-i-increase ngayon yung weight natin, no? So, magiging overweight tayo or obesity. And these are all risks, risk, aside from being diabetic or diabetes complication, also risk for the heart, no? Uh, for the heart disease, I mean, yung sa timbang. What is your recommended uh, diet or food? When you say food planning or meal planning, what are the recommended food? For the diabetic? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, ang recommended food namin kasi dyan, yun nga, na-mention ko kanina, kailangan na talaga natin ng dietitian because we will compute for your daily requirement kung ano yung activity nyo, tsaka yung height mo. O, pag mas maliit ka, mas mababa, okay? And then, titingnan natin yun, yun nga, yung activity mo for the day, kung ano yung pangangailangan mo. Sa mga ang diabetic diet namin, when we recommend is three meals a day, three main meals. And sometimes we add two snacks, mm-hmm. uh, two small snacks, no? Because uh, diabetic, diabetic people are taking medicine. Mm-hmm. And this medicine will lower down the blood sugar. If, and if you don't eat, pabagsak yung sugar mo mm-hmm. kasi wala kang nilagay na, na pababain noong gamot, gamot mo. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's actually what is the content of your of your uh, meal, no? If you are aware of what we call yung tinatawag namin pinggang Pinoy, no? Yes. Yung yung plate, no? Uh, yun yung pinaka basic eh. Uh, sa bilog mo yung eight yung eight inches mo na plate, no? Kalahati nun is gulay. One fourth is the carbohydrate. So ano yung mga carbohydrate? Uh, rice, pwede doon, pwede doon ang bread, pwede doon yung potatoes, pasta, I mean, uh, pasta, noodles, ganyan. Sa kabila, yung one-fourth naman, nandiyan yung iyong source of protein, no? Nandun yung iyong uh, meat, no? Uh, chicken, for example, fish, no? Na andun yun sa, sa one-fourth. So, kung baga pagka, ang ad- common advice ko sa mga patients ko, pag kumakain ka, nagugutong ka pa, you get more on the vegetable mm, instead yeah. of getting more on the Carbs. The, the carbohydrates, mm. yung mga grains, no? mm. instead of getting carbs, carbs from the grains. Because vegetable is also mm. carbohydrates. No? Nako-convert yeah. din yan sa, sa sugar eventually. No? But the amount of sugar is not as high if you eat compared to when you eat, no? for example, pastries, not as high as that. No? If you, example, you eat ice cream, hindi ganun kataas yung masyadong sugar nila. Are sugar substitutes harmful for diabetics? Know the answer from Dr. Cheryl Tugna when Dr. Zan TV returns. Hindi lang 
dahil sa pagkain ng matamis, kaya nagkakaroon ng diabetes. At kung maraming factors na nagkakos nito, may mga simptomas din ito na depende sa gender ng isang tao. Aside from the early symptoms, may mga specific symptoms ang diabetes sa mga kalalakihan. Mahalaga ang pagsasabi ng tapat kung ano ang inyong nararamdaman sa inyong doktor. Kasabay nito ang pagkakaroon ng healthy lifestyle para maiwasan ang mga komplikasyon ng diabetes. Uh, is there any such thing like a uh, good sugar and bad sugar? Uh, meron kami tinatawag na simple sugar and a complex sugar. Uh, yung mga uh, simple uh, sugar natin is yun yung mga nakukuha natin sa mga bad choices. No? Mm -hmm. For example, is yung mga pastry cakes. Yes. Yung, mga mm -hmm. yung mga complex natin is yung mga yung usual, mm -hmm. like the from the food that we eat, like the usual food that we eat, like the rice. No? Yung It's like, uh, how about like uh, fruits? Diba? Fruits like mango, apples? Uh, we also have a limitation yeah. when it comes because they are, they are good source of fiber, yung mga fruits, but they also have um, limitations mm. as to the amount of what the diabetic mm. can can eat no mm -mm. for example mangga isang pisngi they cannot eat mangga, the whole no? thing because also oh, so sabi nila isang sure. kaeng no but hindi isang pisngi lang so it's usually computed no kung ilan yung requirement mo for for the day mm. kasi kinocompute natin yung mga calories eh. because whatever calories that you eat it will be converted into uh, sugar i also see like uh, some diabetic patient they Uh, use uh, stevia like the sugar. So ah, it's sweet. Stevia, Splenda, yeah. Yeah. Muscovado. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend these types of sugar to okay. sa household? Yeah, na, uh, pwede siyang gamitin ng mga diabetic. No, there's uh, there are limitations as to the amount. No, mm -hmm. but malalaki actually yung allowed nila eh. Uh, but the yung artificial sweetener is allowed naman for the diabetic. Mm -hmm. So we mentioned, Doctor, about uh, diseases na kasama nung diabetes. Mm -hmm. So what mm -hmm. other diseases could you mention na uh, um, causing okay. diabetes uh, at causing. the same time complicating the diabetes itself? Yung risk for diabetes tumataas sa mga matataas ang kolesterol. Ang sakit na yun, dyslipidemia. Mm -hmm. May mga taong naka-steroids, kailangan nila, for example, may mga asthma sila, autoimmune disease, nagsisteroids sila, tumataas din yung sugar nila. That's why we check also their mm -hmm. blood sugar. Pero hindi ganun sila kararan, kad masyadong madami. No? So those are the risks then yung mga medicine na yan, tsaka yung, yung condition. No? Mm -hmm. And then for the complications naman ng diabetes, para alam nila na okay. once they have the disease, kasi iba hindi natatakot, doktora, sometimes um, na-overlook din in a way itong disease na to. So yung complication ng uh, diabetes, hindi, hindi naman lahat ng taong may diabetes mapupunta doon. Mm -hmm. no? Ang nagkakakomplikasyon, yung mga napabayaan ang blood sugar. Mm -hmm. Maraming pasyente na may diabetes, 30 to 40 years na sila ng diabetic, wala tayong nakikita. Pero nakikitang. control. Mm -hmm. Pero talagang simula pa lang, kinontrol, mm -hmm. kinontrol na nila. Mm -hmm. Kaya, ang sinasabi namin sa mga bago naming pasyente na kakadiagnose pa lang ng diabetes, laging may bargaining. Eh. I call it bargaining na, Doc, diet and exercise muna. Kaya ko to, kaya ko to. Number one, dieting is not very reliable kasi laging merong may birthday. Laging pagbalik sa'yo, Doc, napaka kain ako eh. So, tumaas na yung sugar nila. And it, the, yung mga organs natin na expose sa mataas na blood sugar. So, any exposure ng mga organs natin na very sensitive to mga levels ng high blood sugar can already start the damage. And this, itong mga to, wala tong nararamdaman. Wala pa siyang, hindi niya pa alam yon na may ganun ng, ano, pag naramdaman na nila, medyo malala na yon yung diabetes nila. So, yung mga complication ng mga uncontrolled, ha? I emphasize ko yung word na uncontrolled, no? Uh, mga complication ng uncontrolled diabetes na pwede tayong magsimula na lalabo yung paningin and eventually nagbubulag nag yung pasyente o yung pasyente may diabetes. And of course, uh, nasisira yung kidney nila. Mm. Pag nasira yung kidney nila, leading to 
dialysis, no? They will require dialysis for life, no? Or Para kidney mabuhay. transplant. Or kidney transplant, which is very expensive. The dialysis is also expensive, no? It will cost you like 9,000 per week. Wala pang gamot yun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, um, of course, mataas din yung risk for heart disease sa mga taong uh, uncontrolled blood sugar and stroke, no? And ang pinakasikat is yung amputation, no? Yung naputulan yes. ng naputulan ng paa, kasi magsa-start yan sa sobrang taas ng sugar, nawalan ng pakiramdam yung paa. So pag na nawalan ka ng pakiramdam sa paa mo, nawawala yung defense mo. Pag nakaapa ka, yeah. anang bubog o may nasugat sa iyo, hindi mo alam yon. Mm. Hindi mo iwi-withdraw yung paa mo. So something na harmful. Pag nagsugat at mataas pa yung blood sugar, hindi gumagaling. Delayed ang so, healing. Yes, yun. delayed yung healing. Instead of na kumalat yung infection, ang ginagawa, pinuputulan na lang ng paa para ma-contain. No? O kasi nasira na, na-damage na yung part na yun. So, na-amputate sila. So, these are all condition na nakaka-affect sa quality of life. So, uh, lastly, Doctora, what are the tips for, you, for the viewer? Okay, so when pag nalaman po natin na may diabetes tayo, um, hindi hindi siya diet lang, hindi siya exercise lang, hindi siya gamot lang, okay? So uh, yung our society launched what we call as apat dapat, no? Sa pagkontrol ng diabetes, apat dapat. So hmm. you need healthy eating or meal planning, okay? Exercise, regular exercise. Everyday medicine, okay? Mm -hmm. Araw-araw kang iinom ng gamot na yung nirekomenda ng doktor mo at kung ano yung nandoon sa prescription niya. And of course, your regular follow-up with the doctor. Importante na pupunta ka sa doktor mo. Kasi yung gamot na iniinom mo, what may be the medicine that is good for you now, yeah. hindi ibig sabihin nun lifetime na ganyan niya yeah. makokontrol. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, thank you! Thank you, thank you Doctor. Thank you, thank you, thank you very you. much. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, yeah. So, Dr. Shida, it was a very nice discussion on diabetic o yes. sa, sa mga chocolate lovers like me. So, oh yung God. merong mga sweet tooth, mm -hmm. dapat talaga, we have to be careful and we have to test yeah. our blood sugar levels. Yeah, and then the good thing is there is different type of sweet that we can use, right? Yes. So, instead of like too much sugar, there are other sweets that we can use that is not, it's still sweet, mm -hmm. pero it's not harmful for our body. And what I like about what Doctora said was about the prevention as well. Yes. So it's really about our lifestyle, no? Like changing of our lifestyle, activities, what we are eating, having tests, you know, uh, that can all help us to not have diseases in the future. And she was stressing mm -hmm. na napakalaga aside mm -hmm. from the diet and exercise, yeah. having an active lifestyle is yes. very important, especially for those who have the disease already mm -hmm. or the diabetes already. Like 30 minutes long, uh, 30 minutes long exercise and just walking mm -hmm. and can make you stay healthy, you know? So this is for today, Markasambahay. I hope you enjoy our Sunday episode here at Doctors, Doctors on TV. TV. So thank you for watching and remember, a healthy life is a happy life. See Bye. you again next time!